Hi everyone, you reach Chronicles of the Great Hair Diva, and this is your first time welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. And share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. I'm here today with a quick video on my um, take, my insight on the Jason Lee interview with Ye West, formerly known as Kanye West. Guys, you're probably going to keep hearing me say Kanye. I haven't gotten used to um, his new name or his changed name Ye yet. So for speaking purposes, not out of any disrespect, I'm going to say Kanye because or else I'm going to keep Keep getting tongue tied by saying ye but i will try my best to say ye because that is his new name so when i watched that interview with um jason lee and um ye i was enlightened i had a change of mind and a change of heart on my perspective and thoughts about kanye west if you didn't get an opportunity to watch it i encourage you you should go over to jason lee's channel and you should absolutely watch it if you felt a certain kind of way about Kanye, I really think that 40-something minutes will definitely change your mind. Now, there's a whole uh, group out there that could send you um, Kanye West a genius. My son is absolutely one of them. He's in love with him. He's in love with his music. He loves his Sunday services. I mean, that's all that comes out of my son's mouth. And I used to be like, boy, get out of here. He's okay. Um, the lyrics, you know, whatever, whatever. But my son would be like, mom, just listen. And I will admit, I did start to listen to some of the songs. And I said, yes, I do agree. I like him. But I still never bumped him up to the genius level. But... This interview has since changed my mind and I will 100% wholeheartedly say I do feel like um, Ye, Kanye West, is, is definitely a genius. He is someone, he's a trailblazer. He is definitely before his time. Um, yes, I think he is misunderstood. And I think what happens is with anybody that kind of goes against the grain, doesn't fit in the crowd of um, group thinking in all of us, they're looked upon as like, you know, crazy, different, um, you know, has issues, um, out of their mind and all of the above and some other things you could throw in there. But again, watch the interview and I will promise you. Um, you will change your mind on your opinion with Kanye West. Even with, if we want to call them the antics with the whole Trump thing, um, him getting on the stage with um, Taylor Swift that time, you know, saying she shouldn't have won the award, Beyonce should have. Even with all of that stuff, I still feel that, you know, he's misunderstood and he is a genius. And I'll tell you, um, as I go through my pieces from this interview, why I really feel that he's a genius. So, him and Kim are getting a divorce, and divorce is hard no matter who you are, whether you're a celebrity, um, the person from around the way, or, you know, anything in between. Divorce is hurtful, it's painful, and whether you've been together 365 days, or maybe uh, 5 years or 10 years, it's still, it's like a loss. If you ask um, any therapist, you know, what is, how can you explain divorce they said it's, it's equivalent to um, actually physically losing a person to death, right? So they said the feelings are very similar because it's like a death of everything that you knew. You and this person perhaps, you know, did everything together for years. This person is the only person that you've known for years. You're in love with them. You can't see your life without them. And now here you are, like you wake up and it's over. And then a lot of times, unfortunately, in divorce, um, one person may want it more than the other. Um, sometimes you got a, a situation where both people agree, like, listen, we grew apart, this is it, let's be respectful and move on. But there's other times sometimes when the one person is blindsided and the other person is shocked, and then it takes the other person, you know, time to catch up and be at the place where, okay, this is over, and this other person, they've been moved on, but they just happen to tell you at a certain point, so now all the stuff that they already processed because they knew they wanted to leave you, you're just beginning the process. Y'all kind of get my point though. Divorce is difficult. And unfortunately, unless you have two really mature adults, if children are involved and you're not healed, 
and your primary um, um, concern is the children, things could get really petty. Things could get ugly. Um, you start to throw th dirt, sling mud, and the whole time you think you're hurting your spouse or soon to be ex spouse, but really you're hurting your offspring. So it's like I wish we can, you know, when people are getting divorced and children are involved, I wish they would be ordered to go to counseling to learn how to co parent the minute they file that paperwork in a court. And even though people can break, you know, court orders and things like that. I wish they can be told in the court that you are not allowed to say anything about each other in social media. Um, do not speak bad or ill of each other in front of your children. And, you know, just give a whole bunch of rules and regulations on how they should handle this breakup in terms of how the children are concerned. And me, I would definitely say that no one should date or at least date in front of the children into at the very least 365 days later my opinion my thoughts because i think first we need to realize we're not together and learn how to co-parent nicely together but at the same time we want to look after the mental health of our child or our children and make sure that they get comfortable with us not being together before we end up uh, getting together with someone else so let's get back to the Kanye West interview with Jason Lee because I went off the beaten path. He explained one particular scenario where the narrative was pushed out there that he was a little off, but he explained his scenario. So one, Kim Kardashian um, started dating um, Pete, what is his name? Pete, is his name Pete Davidson? I hope I'm not messing this man's name up. I hope it's Pete Davidson, but you know what who I'm talking about, right? So she started dating, and apparently, you know, once Kanye and her split, and of course, I'm sure they always had security. Um, security was advised, like, listen, he's not allowed in the home anymore. He could come here, pick up his kids, and, you know, drop them back off, but he can't just get in the physical house anymore like he used to when he actually lived in the home. So he claims he wasn't really aware of the fact that when he came to the home to pick up his kids or drop them off, that he wouldn't be physically let in the home. He only found out that information when he went there one time to pick his kids up, to take them to school. And when he went to drop them back off, well, both times he was stopped by security, but when he went to drop them back off and his daughter North, wanted him to come in the house to see something you know he could not and then he added to the story that you know pete davidson was in the house at the time and like how could this man be in the house but i can't go in the house where my children live and i'm their father so it's it's a mixed bag of situations that's going on with that particular thing but when that situation happened and this part got a little um sad to me when that situation happened he kind of said you know like he doesn't have a solange in his life and he's talking about beyonce's sister so you remember the situation where beyonce solange and jc was all in the elevator and you know i something happened in the elevator i guess you know beyonce you know allegedly found out that jay-z was cheating and so beyonce was in there and you know she tried to get um jay-z the beat down so kanye is saying look i don't have a brother or sister like that i don't have somebody in my life that could stand by me and help me with this situation that i'm currently going through so i felt bad when he said that and he also said that you know he employs thousands of his family and friends and i do believe that also and so everybody is kind of leeching off of him but when he needs help when he needs support when he needs love no one's there to help him i didn't even know that his father was still in the picture but he did mention his father briefly you know like he called his father like come help me with this kim situation and he called a couple cousins so a couple cousins came to kind of like talk to kim to say you know what listen this is your son's your children's um father um he just wants to see the kids can we work this out but he said you know when the cousins went there so i'm guessing it was female cousins and they were speaking to kim um you know he said kim threw the mother thing on them and kind of softened them up so that situation didn't need help help them out or it didn't work so i really just feel like kanye 
made a lot of really good points and one of the points he made is that you know he doesn't want his daughter on social media TikTok. he doesn't want his daughter wearing lipstick and he should be able to have a say in these situations and he said he did say something but he also feels that it is a um, um kim is allowing this to happen you know just to stick it to him now is that necessarily true or not i don't know but i do think that kim should respect the fact that if your father doesn't want you on social media and i honestly think that you know they don't need to be on social media but you know that's my opinion but i would say if your father doesn't want you on social media regardless of if i'm with the father or not i would say listen you can't have a social media account your dad said so and then if you did it behind my back every time you did son i'm be like okay wait a minute i'm calling your dad and i'll just tell him the situation we don't have to get along i'll tell him the situation be like here talk to your daughter so um Kanye had also said that too, that pulling the father out of the home, and yes, there are plenty of families where God bless the stepfathers and, you know, are the bonus fathers or whatever that have stepped in when, you know, a father is removed for whatever particular reason or just not there or just not participating in those children's life. You have bonus fathers and all of these people that can step in and help. But when you have a situation where the father is still willing and he wants to be in his children's life, I think that you should allow it. And people may say, well, oh, he's crazy. I, I highly doubt that Kanye West would ever harm his children. And he and if it something did ever happen, I highly doubt that it would be done on purpose. So I really don't think that's where he at he's at. But because Kim and Ham seem to not be in agreement with how to um, co-parent the kids, what he did say in this interview was interesting. He said, I bought that house next to my kids, not because I wanted to stalk her. And guys, I'm paraphrasing. He said, because I want to be a father to my children and I have that right. So he's saying that also. He brought up a situation also where Kim, um, at the, um, when she did uh, Saturday Night Live, he said she brought him with her. So Kanye was there. And then he said, you're kissing your boyfriend in front of me. And I'm there. Like, who does that and where would you do that at? I personally would never do that. That's like taunting someone almost. But again, this is Yee's version. This is Kanye's version of what happened that um, time at Saturday Night Live. But he also mentioned something very pivotal. He said, you know... Why would you get up there pretty much and say these things about us and the divorce on Saturday Night Live, even if it's supposed to be a joke, quote unquote? Because, and I do agree with him that that should have never been said because, again, he's still the father of your children and your ex-husband. So Kanye said something very interesting. He said, don't play with me don't play with my children he said i will do this thing very quietly and i will keep it legal so i agree with kanye don't play with him don't play with his children don't put the children in the middle of this he's a father that wants to participate in his children's life y'all can do this thing 50 50 even if you decide, even if you're divorcing and you want to move on, you can still do this thing fairly and let him be a part of the children's life. He also said something that, um, I, a lot of things that was very interesting. He equated himself to like a Steve Jobs. And again, I'm with him on that. You cannot negate the fact that this man has started from the bottom and now he's a billionaire. And listen, according to him, he said 10 billion. Okay, so he corrected Jason Lee, not in an arrogant way. Because um, Jason Lee said, you're a billionaire. He said, no, let's do 10. So 10, he has $10 billion. I didn't know that. But listen, he has this line with the gap, the, the Yeezy thing. It's going out of control. He has definitely inserted himself in the fashion industry. Um and he's making his money, okay? Now, he also said that Kim ought to be thankful because everything that he touched, and I'm paraphrasing, guys, but you have seen it. Everything that he touched turns to gold, okay? He said she was cool when I helped um, her become a billionaire with skims. So he is saying that he is the creative behind skims. And I'm going to tell you something. I do believe it. 
I do wholeheartedly believe it. And so on that note alone, I would be sending back, even though we're no longer together, I would still acknowledge the fact that, listen, because of your father, I have, you know, they had a lot before he came, but I still would acknowledge because of your father, you know, I have skims and skims is, you know, killing the game in this um, fashion industry. So acknowledge that. Now, um, yeah, because he said I, he helped her become a billionaire. He also said that he helped John Legend. And he was upset about how John Legend, you know, when he was out there doing the whole Trump thing and whatever, you know, didn't stand behind him as a friend. It's like, I helped you get through doors that you would have never got through. You are making money the way you're making money because of me. And now you won't even stand by me as a friend. So it's like so many people came up because of him, but now they won't stand behind him. Now, this is what I thought was messy. He said he doesn't want to be a Will and Jada. And what that meant was to him is he doesn't want to put all of their business in the streets. He wants to keep it, you know, he said, because on both sides, things happen, but he doesn't want their business in the street. And I can appreciate that. He also mentioned this, that he was the one apparently because you got to remember when that sex video came out with kim and ray j it wasn't uh, social media wasn't w then what it is today so he mentioned how to help kim and you know from her having that image that everybody wants to tag on her regardless of how much she has done well after that he said he went to ray j got this laptop i guess the laptop that the original video was on um he flew took a red eye and then he came back and gave it to kim and he talked about how kim cried and so He's saying that he understands, you know, all women, regardless of how much money you make or don't make, they want to feel protected and they want to be loved. So he said he does understand some of the things that Kim is doing now and going through. But what he doesn't understand and he doesn't want is to not play with his children, allow him to be in his children's life. And he said he doesn't care, you know who knows them who they know don't know and what they want to do what he's not going to stand for is not being able to be a part of his children's life in a fair and an equal way so i'm and wait i'm sorry guys i know i keep saying i'm gonna go but i'm gonna i'm gonna close it out after this this was something he said that will stick with me forever he said you either gotta roll with love or fear and he said i roll with love he said, if, you, if you're if you rolling with fear, everything, you're going to be fearful to live your life, to do what you need to do. He said, you're the walking dead. You're a zombie. And I will say this, fear does paralyze you. Fear stops you from being great, stops you from being who you are and who you really want to be. So no matter what, if your whole life you were fearful, but you get to wake up tomorrow Turn that fear into love. Do whatever it is you want to do. Be whoever you want to be. Don't stop. Keep your eye on the prize and become whatever it is you've been dreaming about, talking about, and thinking about your whole life. So I want to end this video like this, guys. I'm rolling with Yee. I'm rolling with Kanye. Don't play with his children. Don't play with the kids. Don't put the kids in the middle of your mess. They didn't ask to be here. Y'all two came together. You made this family of four. They're 50% the woman. They're 50% the man. So both parties deserve to be in the trauma's life. To be in the trauma's life without any restraints. To be in the trauma's life without um you alienating the children by trying to make the children be on your side or the children be on that side. Let the children love both their parents, which they should do, and give both the parents equal time to the best of your ability. I'm really praying this get worked out. I'm really praying that after a while, you know, they can come to a middle ground. And I'll just say, I'll go on record. I do wholeheartedly feel that Kanye West is a genius. Thank you for watching, guys. Chat with me in the comments. Do you think that Kanye West deserves to have 50% custody of his children? He fathered these kids. He made these kids. 
All Kanye wants is a family. All he wants is someone to love him. He wants people that are not using him, which you could imagine. Listen, sometimes you have a little bit of money and people use you. Can you imagine if you're a billionaire and you're employing all these people and they're really not down for you? If one day your money is not there, you will look up and neither will they. They will all be gone. And he should cut them off now. If they're not standing by him, he should really cut them off now. And when I say not standing by him, he's saying that that night that he um, um pushed or whatever to um that um uh, paparazzi, his cousin was there and something was going on between him and the cousin that he employs. It's a whole hot mess. And that's the reason why they have that video. And that's part of the reason why what happened that night happened. So you're employing a family member, they're using you, allegedly, you know, we got to use that word a lot now, and they're ungrateful, and because of them, you know, you're being seen in a, in a dark light, and when your family is supposed to always be love and greatness. So I'm rolling with Kanye. I'm going to go on the side of love and not fair, but again, he deserves to have a 50% custody and say in his children's lives. So I hope Kim turns this thing around. I hope they too together turn it around. Thank you guys for watching. Chat with me in the comments. Do you feel that Kanye should get 50% custody? I, do you feel that he's a genius? So chat with me in the comments and let me know. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. And I'll see you in the next video.